The hardest thing about being here is realizing that life goes on without you. I don't have nothing. I can't do nothing for myself. I can't do nothing for my family. I can't do, I can't do nothing. My reality is I sit here for 17 years and when I walk out that gate, I hope I have it together enough to where I won't come back. My name is Kim Boguki, and I am a Seattle Police Detective. Uh, don't worry, I'm not here to arrest anybody. Apparently that's already happened. <laughs> What I'm here to do is to try to figure out what it's gonna take when you get out, if you're getting out, how to keep you out. So I was thinking to myself, if. That, that word is not little to me. It's huge. We're going to write a letter. This is a letter to yourself. If someone had told me that the world actually needed me, then maybe I wouldn't have had to come to prison to get free. Here was my road, and then here was this road that Kim was offering. So it's cop and convict working together side by side. She was asking out of care. I almost felt like a kid standing there, and she was like, come on, if I could help you, what could have I done? It's not every day you get somebody that'll come along like this IF program that would help you pull things that you done stuff for 49 years that you choose not to talk about. It helps my self-worth. If you don't have self-worth about yourself, you ain't gonna do nothing. I'm just so excited about going out there and showing the world that people can change. If you would have told me eight years ago that I'd be hanging around in prison and working with felons, I would have, would have laughed at you. You've changed my life. Moving forward, what do you need? Make room for me. We have room for you. Can you take a breath? All right, when you're ready. 